Now, Georgina, I understand that you've got a lump in your neck. Is that right? Yes, it's just here in the corner. You can see it there. Yes. Um, I had it since I was about 20, 21. It was like the size of a pea. Right. And then just in the last few months, it started to get a little bit bigger. Right. So I'm just a little bit concerned as to what it is. Sure, no problems at all. So how old are you now? 29. 29, so it's been there for about six years. Yeah. And it was quite stable for that period of time and it's only recently started to grow a bit bigger? Yeah, only in the last couple of months it's kind of got bigger. Have you had any other general problems as far as um, swallowing goes? No. OK, great. Well, maybe if we could just have a look at this lump and, okay. and see about it. OK. Maybe if you could come have a seat over here, that would be fantastic. OK, Georgina, maybe if you could just point out this, this lump to me. It's just there. Ah, right. Yeah, that's quite obvious, isn't it? OK, so that's just at the back of the angle of the jaw there. Yeah. OK, that's fantastic. Oh, it feels quite a mobile lump. And it's certainly not attached to the skin. And let's have a look. So it's about maybe one and a half centimetres around. OK, great. I just want to just have a look and see how the muscles on that side of the face are working. So if I could get you just to raise your eyebrows up. Fantastic. If I could get you just to blink, blink, blink. OK, now squeeze your eyes nice and tight. OK, just wrinkle your nose like this. OK, and show me your, your teeth. OK, that's fantastic. And just have a look down there. Show me your teeth again. OK, that's fantastic. So you've had an ultrasound of the product gland, and what the ultrasound has demonstrated is this lesion here situated within the product gland. Okay. It's got a fairly smooth border, which is a good sign. It certainly doesn't look as though it's got a nasty pattern of spreading. Cool. Fantastic. So you've also had one other test. You've had a needle biopsy which has been placed and they've sampled some of the cells and the biopsy result has come back and the, the cells are consistent with a tumour called a pleomorphic adenoma. Okay. And within the product gland, most tumours are benign tumours. Okay. And the most common tumour that we see is a pleomorphic adenoma. Oh, okay. All right. Is that test actually conclusive, or is it...? It's a very good test, OK? okay. No test is 100%. The best test is to take the tumour out yep. and to see exactly what it is. So here's a picture. This is the product gland. You have two product glands. You have one on each side of the face. So this is a gland that secretes saliva, which aids in digestion and swallowing. You have a tumour located within the product gland. So the operation involves an incision which runs just in front of one of the skin creases of the ear, then tucks down into the neck and then comes a little bit forward. And that's required to lift the skin off the protogland gland to safely identify um, the facial nerve as part of the procedure. So what's the complications associated with the operation in terms of, that seems like a fairly major slice. The main risk associated with this surgery is injury to the major nerve which exits the base of skull next to the product gland which is called the facial nerve. If that nerve is injured, the muscles on the side of the face will be weak. So the, the forehead will droop, the top eyelid will droop, or the brow will droop. There will be some um, droopiness of the face, the crease, the nasolabial crease will be lost and there may be some drooping of the, of the corner of the mouth. It looks much in a way as a, a stroke patient. Okay. So clearly that's not a situation we want to be in. Pretty massive complication. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Well, that's right. And that's why you need to be very, very careful in identifying and preserving all of these branches of the facial nerve. Exactly right. See you later. Love you. Bye. Right, see you later. See you later. Bye. Love you, please. Okay, boys, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Bye, baby. See you later. Bye. 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 See you later. Okay, so Monique, at the moment I'm just cutting through the skin, through to the fatty tissue. The next structure I'm looking for is called the great auricular nerve. So here's the nerve here. I'll attempt to preserve that nerve as much as possible because that supplies sensation to the ear. One of the uh, complications of this surgery is uh, numbness, so we try and preserve at least one of the major branches. This nerve is important more for sensation, really, than for um, anything else. But the one that's very important is the one that uh, travels through the product gland called the facial nerve, which supplies the muscles on the right-hand side of the face in Georgina's case. So that's the one that needs to be preserved, and we'll get to that one in a little while, because that's actually within the substance of the product gland. 
and we'll come up to the tumour pretty soon as well. OK, so we've lifted the flap of tissue over the parotid glands. So here's the tumour here. I just push on it. So it's actually quite a reasonable sized tumour. There's a structure here which could quite possibly be the facial nerve. It's a white cord about the size of a piece of spaghetti. So what we might do is we might just uh, stimulate that nerve with a nerve stimulator and see if we can see some movement of the face. Monique, could you just let me know if the face moves when I mm -hmm. touch the nerve? Mm -hmm. OK, so you can see the whole face moving. So that confirms that the structure is the facial nerve. So what I need to do now is I need to remove this tissue from around the facial nerve, preserving its branches, because here's the tumour here, and the lower branch will be very closely associated with the tumour. If the nerve is cut, the nerve will need to be repaired, but unfortunately the face will always be slightly weak because even if that nerve is repaired nicely, it still doesn't work 100%. So I just need to be very careful of that branch there. We'll follow that further out into the face. Here's the facial nerve. It's actually branching into multiple branches. So here's there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's the main branch which goes up to the upper face. And so here's the tumour just here. Hopefully, we'll get the tumour off and preserve these branches of the facial nerve. The other thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a margin of normal parotid tissue around this tumour. These tumours are notorious for spreading with little finger-like projections called pseudopodia. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to leave any of this tumour behind because there's a relatively high rate of recurrence. So we're just at this last stage. OK. So here's the tumour here. It's about the size of the uh, end of my finger. It's completely removed. Certainly no tumour visible on the cut surface, which is great. So we'll just uh, test the branches of the facial nerve now. So the upper branch. Twitching. There's a mouth, and all the branches are working, so that's fantastic. So the tumour's completely out, all the branches are intact, so hopefully when she wakes up, she'll have a normal face. She might be a little bit weak in the mouth, which is very common, um, but certainly I hope that uh, all the major branches being intact, that the major part of the face should work. Just a drain, thanks. OK, it all went very well. The tumour's come out. It's completely out. All those branches, the facial nerve branches, were intact, so that's fantastic. Do you mind if we just have a look at your face? No. I'll just take this off for two secs. Just raise your eyebrows up as much as you can. Oh, that's beautiful. Just wrinkle your nose, wrinkle your nose. OK, and show me your teeth. Oh, that's fantastic. So all those nerve branches are working well, so that's fantastic. I might just pop and speak to Jerome now, yeah. and when you're a little bit more awake, we'll yeah, get you upstairs. Yeah. Cool. OK? That's all right, I'll catch up with you later. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon, Georgina. Hi. How are you going? Good, how are you? Jerome, hey, hi. How are you? Good. Well, how are you going? Yeah, I'm good. Really good. Did you have a restful night last night? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. OK, all right. Have you, have you got much pain? No, none at all, to be honest. Just, oh, that's uh, great. It just feels like around in the ear, you know, like numb. That numbness will shrink down with time. Oh, great. So, so that's good. Do you mind if I just have a little look at your wound? That looks good. That's nice. OK. And so that nerve is working, working really well, so that's fantastic. We'll make sure you have some painkillers to take home in case there is some discomfort, but um, you seem to be doing pretty well for now. Thanks All right, very fantastic. Much. Okay, we'll look home today and um, I'll catch up with you in the rooms next week. Perfect. Thank All you. right, all Thank the best. Bye. All right, I'll Thanks. see you next week. Nice. Bye. Bye. So, is your face feeling okay now? Yeah, it feels heaps better. Yeah. Isn't it? Georgina's recovered from her surgery oh, and plans to marry in Ireland okay. later in the year. Yeah.